At the peak of hurricane season, it's a pretty common sight to see two or even three tropical cyclones or hurricanes at once. And some of you have so eloquently wondered, what happens if two hurricanes collide? I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and while two tropical cyclones can interact with one another, it's actually pretty rare. But when two storms do come into contact, there's a name for it, the Fujiwara effect, named after the Japanese meteorologist who first described the phenomenon. And while a lot of us would like to imagine two giant hurricanes merging to form one mega hurricane the likes we've never seen, it doesn't really work that way. But here's how it does. Science! When two low pressure systems get close enough, 1200 miles for your everyday run of the mill low, or 870 miles for two tropical cyclones, they begin to do a bit of a dance. The centers of these storms begin to move counterclockwise around a point right in between. If both storms are the same size, this effect may just change their trajectory. But if one storm is much smaller than the other, then the bigger storm is going to absorb the smaller one. That's exactly what happened in 2005 when Hurricane Wilma absorbed Tropical Storm Alpha off the East Coast. If that wasn't too impressive, the 1995 hurricane season was a regular homecoming dance in the Atlantic. At one point, there were not one, two, three, or four storms, but five. Humberto, Iris, and Jerry, as well as the waves that would later become Karen and Lewis. Hurricane Iris, being a little smaller, weakened after a dance with Humberto, but later re-strengthened and went on to absorb Tropical Storm Karen a week later. The Fujiwara effect can simply alter a storm's course, or it can cause one storm to consume another one altogether. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, head to our YouTube channel and subscribe for more videos just like this one.